and uh, go away go on beat it ow oh come on Al go fight somebody else here huh Where the hell was I? Ah, I got a doggy ball. Smack, smack. <coughs> Go play someplace else, Al. <laughs> Go play somewhere else. Where was I? I may never get this video done. Suppose, if you would, for a moment, consider yourself late in the evening, you're reading a book in a nice comfortable chair in the, uh, fucking A. Drag and whatnot. And the fucking A. What the bloody fuck made me think I could make a video out here with dogs and cats and sun setting. What the fuck was I going to say? I wanted to make a follow-up video to the so-called George Green magnetic motor video, which of course is nothing like a magnetic motor. It's not even like a motor. Suppose, if you would, that you're sitting in a chair reading late at night and you have a reading light on. And also, suppose, if you would, that the Freon compressor in your refrigerator turns on. What happens to your reading light? Of course, it dims for a moment, then goes back to its original brightness. The reason it dims is because the Freon compressor motor requires an inductive kick to get it going to overcome the base inertial state, inertia, to get the uh, compressor to start working at its optimum load state. That inductive kick requires more energy than what the compressor requires when it is operating at its normal non-conductive kick uh, state. You'll also notice in the George Green video when the clown with the circular magnet places it over the smaller magnet that is mounted on a ball bearing it doesn't turn until he taps it. That is the equivalent of an inductive kick. It requires energy to get it out of equilibrium, overcome the initial inertia, and get it to rotate. You'll also notice, to get the small magnet to rotate, moment has to be applied to the circular magnet. If moment is not applied, if the circular magnet is held at the precise uh, spot and not jiggled and the idiomotor effect of the hand is not applied such as mounting it on a tripod or mounting bracket on the table the small magnet inside the circle will not spin it goes to its equilibrium and it stays there you'll also notice <coughs> if you move the magnet that applies moment to the smaller magnet and the only reason the smaller magnet spins is because it is converting that energy into angular uh, momentum using friction on the table. If you were to levitate that small magnet off the table perhaps with a magnetic plate or perhaps take it up to the International Space Station in, in microgravity and take your ring and put it over that small little magnet. No matter how much you move it around, it won't, the small magnet will not rotate. That is because when moment is being applied to the smaller magnet, the small magnet is trying very hard to keep into equilibrium and the way it does that is to uh, use drag, that is friction, on the tabletop to convert some of that moment into angular momentum. If you were to have a frictionless table and a frictionless ball bearing on the small magnet, 
the small magnet would just kind of drag back and forth on the table and it would not spin. Angular momentum due to tabletop friction.